Hey what's up everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today's video will be a beginner's guide on how you can get all sites unlocked on your school Chromebook. If you try to access some links or websites in order to watch TV shows, movies or play video games for example and then a screen similar to this one shows up, then this video is for you. I highly recommend that you keep watching until the end as I'll be providing two different methods on how you can unblock your school Chromebook. This is because each school will have different restrictions on their Chromebook, so trying both methods will give you the highest chance of unblocking it. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. So guys, if you try to search for a website that's blocked by your Chromebook, for example, I just searched for Discord and then this screen showed up, it says this site cannot be reached. What this means is that you just try to access a site that's blocked or restricted by your school Chromebook. So I'm going to be sharing with you two methods on how we can overcome this. So the first thing that we're going to be trying is that we're going to go ahead and download a Chrome extension. This Chrome extension is going to unrestrict the sites that are already blocked by our school Chromebook and let us access them freely. So the extension I'm talking about guys is called Browsec. It's called Browsec. You're going to go ahead and search for it. It's free to download for Chrome. It's also available on different browsers I believe like Opera GX and Firefox, you're going to search for it on your browser and you'll find it. So you press on it. And as you can see, uh, Browsic VPN, this is the extension, it's free VPN for Chrome. If you see here, it has 25,000 reviews and most of them were positive five stars. So it is a trusted tool, guys. I very highly recommend that you go ahead and download it. You go ahead and press on add for Chrome. I already have it added, so it doesn't say that right now. So after you've downloaded the tool, you're gonna go ahead to your extensions right here and make sure that your extension is pinned just so that you can access it better. It's gonna show here. So go ahead and press on it. And then you can see that your privacy protection is disabled. You press on start VPN. And then you can change which server you're connected to. I'm gonna keep it on Netherlands. And when this button turns green and says on, that's when you know that the extension is working. So that's all you have to do. You just have to make sure that your extension is running and then you can go ahead and search for a website that's blocked. So Discord, for example. And as you can see, it will just run just fine. It will make your connection a little bit slower because it is a VPN service. However, you can always, if it works for you, you can upgrade your connection speed for only $3 a month and then you will get the full speed access. However, this speed is fine with me and I will stick to using my extension on this speed. However, if your school restrictions are a little bit tighter and this uh, specific method does not work for you, we do have a second method that you can try. So guys, for the second method we have here, you're going to go ahead and press on this on these three buttons right here and go to the settings these are your google chrome settings and after that you're going to want to press on system so click on system and then you want to open your computer's proxy settings so press on this one it's going to be a pop-up and then this box shows up right here and then you want to press on manual proxy setup so you press on setup and then turn this button on right here so guys, the next step is that you want to go back to Google and you're going to search up for this link right here. It's like spys.1, press enter. And now it will give you a full list of different servers that you can connect to. So basically this will be your IP address. And then this, this will be the port. So you go back to the settings right here, you paste your IP address and then you paste the port and then you press on save. That will be it. And now if you go ahead and search for Discord, again, for example, the site will run even though the extension is off. So guys, this will be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Now keep in mind that some schools will be too restricted and no matter what method that you try, it will always give you a restricted site. However, I hope that one of these two methods or both work for you like they did for me.